grade, my name is Mrs. Vassello and I'm your art teacher for the next quarter. We are going to be making so many fun art projects together. Our first project is going to be a cave art project. We're going to be learning a little bit about the history of cave paintings and we're going to be making our very own cave painting artwork. I'm gonna first tell you a little bit about the history of cave paintings. Go ahead and take a look. The very first paintings were probably made in caves about 15,000 years ago. A very famous cave where a lot of cave paintings have been found is called Lacoz Cave in France. Often there were images of animals such as bison, mammoths, boar, and deer. It's believed that people painted animals in order to guarantee a successful hunt that day. These paintings were probably made with charcoal or with mud or with burnt pieces of wood. Now that we know a little bit about the history of cave paintings, we're going to start our own cave painting artwork. Let's go. All right, my amazing artists, to get started today, I'm going to talk about the supplies that you will need. You're going to need a pack of crayons from your art bag. You're going to need a eraser. You're going to need your handy dandy pencil. You're going to need a white piece of paper from your art bag and a tan piece of paper from your art bag. Also, you're gonna need some sort of disposable cup or a cup that you could throw away after you use it because we're gonna get it a little bit messy. And you're also going to need a few Q-tips. They could be um, white in the center. They do not have to be brown like this, but they just need to have that cotton ball end. Those are supplies that you will need to be a creative artist today. To get started, what you're going to do is on your tan paper, we're going to practice two types of lines. We're going to practice a horizontal line, which is a straight line across your paper like this. And we're also going to practice a zigzag line. Our zigzag line is going to be the mountains of our cave artwork. So you want to have gently sloped mountains like that. Try to only have a few mountains. You don't want to have a whole mountain range like this because that's going to be hard to paint inside of. Try to have only a few peaks on your zigzag line. Now this paper was just practice, so once you've practiced once, we're going to go on to your white piece of paper and we're going to be drawing those same two lines. You're going to go and put your hand down on your paper and draw a tiny little line. That is where I would like you to draw your straight horizontal line across. Then you're going to put your hand down again and that is where you're going to start your zigzag line. Remember, not too many pointy peaks on your zigzag line. After you've drawn your two lines, you've now created a bunch of spaces on your paper. You have a space at the bottom that's like a rectangle. You have a space in the middle with pointy peaks for the mountains. And then you have a space above that. This down here is going to be our grass for our cave artwork. Then we're going to have brown mountains and we're going to have a bluish sky up here. At this point, you need those crayons and you should look in there and find some colors that you would like to use in your grass and also some colors that you might want to use in your sky. I might even get a little crazy and put a tiny bit of red in my sky, kind of like a sunset. First, what I'm going to do is color my grass. I want to color this entire rectangle down here at the bottom of the paper. 
notice I'm coloring nicely back and forth in the same direction. I don't want to keep changing the way my hand goes when I color. Instead, I'm going to keep coloring in that same direction. Color that entire bottom rectangle. Alright, I decided I want to put a little bit of yellow in my grass too, maybe to give it a little bit of variety. You could put yellow in your grass where you don't have to, it's up to you. Use your creativity, whatever strikes you that day, color your grass that way. Alright, next I need to color my sky with crayon. I want my sky to have a couple clouds in it, I think, so I'm going to draw some clouds. And then I'm going to color my sky. You could color your sky in whatever way you would like. My sky, it's just going to be a sunshiny day. So my sky is going to be blue. I'm going to be careful not to get inside my mountains. I don't want my mountains to be blue. They're going to be a different color. Okay, I have my grass in the front, my sky above, and now comes the messy part. You are going to need to go on a little adventure and you're going to get maybe one scoop of dirt in this cup. Cave men did not have crayons and paint they had to use supplies that they could find in the wild to paint with. So we're gonna experiment just like they did and we're gonna try to paint with some mud. So you need to go find some mud and put it in your disposable cup. You only need about two spoonfuls. So if you had a spoon with you, you would put two little spoonfuls inside your cup and then we're gonna add some water to it in order to make it kind of look like paint like the cavemen would use. Inside my cup, I got a little bit of mud. Notice it's not too much mud. And then I'm going to pour some of it into a cup with a little bit of water. You're going to mix that around and you want it to be kind of sticky. I made mine a little too watery, so I'm going to add in the rest of my dirt. All right, this looks pretty good. Look at this paint I made. I'm going to be taking this mud paint and using it to paint my mountains. I've got my Q-tip all loaded up and I'm going to go in here and try to stay right inside those lines, painting my mountain with my mud paint, just like a caveman would do. Way back before there was even paint, artists were making artworks with materials like mud. If your Q-tip starts to get ruined, you could always switch Q-tips and use another one. How fun is it to paint with mud? I bet you've never painted with mud before. All right, my artwork is all finished now. I've created grass, I've created mountains using a material like mud that cavemen would have used, and I colored my sky. This is just the start to our project. Next week, we're going to be adding more to it 
when we have our next video lesson. So keep this paper and save it for next time. Remember to take a picture of this and upload it to Seesaw so that I can see it. I hope you had fun creating your artwork inspired by cave paintings and painting with mud just like the cavemen would. Have fun creating! I hope you enjoyed creating your cave painting artwork and I can't wait to see the picture of it that you post on Google Classroom. I hope you had so much fun painting with the mud and drawing those animals like would have been seen in a cave painting. See you next time.